Hello, welcome back to another session of Aerial Yoga with Flow Rebels. I'm Carl Davids, and today, using the hammock and the mat, we're going to do a couple of exercises and poses which are targeting the quadriceps, the hamstrings, the groin, also a little bit of back bending, all in preparation for our final posture, which is going to be the inverted pigeon pose. So I hope you'll join me and enjoy this session. Okay, here I am, I'm sitting on my knees, slightly behind the plumb line of the hammock, taking my hands around the front of the fabric into prayer pose, bring them through, grabbing them the outside, and bringing them down into this little notch here. Don't need to bring it too tight, just a gentle knot, grabbing hold of the fabric. So now, I'm keeping this gentle today, we're going to just Inhale, exhale, slowly lean forward in between the shoulders. No need to bounce or push, just lean into the shoulders. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, leaning back. So now we're getting a bit of a stretch in the quads and also opening up the back in the rib cage. Inhale, bring yourself up. Exhale, leaning forward through the shoulders. Allow the head just to hang down. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, all the way back. Allow the head to hang over. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, one more round. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, move into that gentle back bend. And allow the head to hang freely, gazing over the top. Inhale, bring yourself up. Shifting onto the side of the hips, shoot the feet to the front. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, and now keeping the feet flexed, just a gentle forward bend. No need to bounce or push, just allow yourself to hang. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, lean back. Allow the shoulders to move forward towards the fabric, so we're not holding ourselves up. Just let the shoulders relax. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe. Good. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, lean back. This time, pointing the feet and we're going to raise the hips up. Lift the hips up. Allow the back. The head to fall to the back. Exhale, hips coming down. Pull yourself up. Really hold tight onto the fabric. Exhale. Forward fold. One last time. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, lean back, point the toes, lifting up the hips. Gently drop the head behind. So we need a little bit of strength in the arms here. Exhale, hips coming down. Pull yourself up and release the fabric. Let's just give the hands a bit of a break. Excellent. This time, opening up the feet as wide as you can, not too much, just to a comfortable, to the point where you feel like you're starting to work, keeping the feet flexed, palms in the front prayer position, bring them round on the outside of the fabric, find that same knot as before. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, forward fold, and this time we're just going to sway from left to right, sway from left to right. Take your time, moving slowly and slow breathing. Generally, I inhale as I come to the center and exhale as I move to the side. Inhale back to the center, exhale over to the side. Inhale, center, exhale to the side. One more time, inhale, center, exhale over to the side. Inhale, center, and bring yourself up. Exhale. Bring the feet back. I'm bending them to the side, coming up onto my knees. Last time we practiced this one, cat-cow using the fabric. So pushing the fabric away from you. 
Exhale, coming down through the shoulders. Okay, take a deep breath in and drop the chest, looking up. Exhale, draw the belly in, look under, look towards your belly button. Inhale, drop the chest. Exhale. Inhale, drop the chest. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly bring yourself up. So now we're going to warm the back up into those back bends I was talking about. Exhale, slowly push the fabric forward. Come into that variation of the tabletop position. Hands holding on to the fabric. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, slowly move the hips down towards the mat. Use the fabric for leverage. Looking up. Inhale, slowly pull yourself up. Hips moving back. Stretch the arms out. Modified child pose. One more time. Inhale, coming all the way up. Okay, so this back bend is really, it can be quite deep. So you can either stay in this position, getting the same benefits here, or if you want to go all the way down, push those hips forward. Hold on to the fabric. Use the fabric as your leverage. Looking up. When you're coming up, inhale, pull onto the fabric, push the hips back, stretch those arms. Very good. Inhale, coming up onto the knees, hero pose, relax the hands. Excellent. Let's grab onto the fabric, use it to help us up to our feet. And now, we're going to practice Downward facing dog with the assistance of the fabric. Finding your hands inside on the inside of the fabric. Press down so that the fabric is just above the hips. On the hip bone, just above the hips. Walking towards the front of the mat till you get the full tension in the fabric. Then slowly bring your hands down to the mat. So you need a bit of a forward bend now. Then we're going to slowly step the feet back. Ground those palms into the mat and then slowly push the heels down into the ground. So now the fabric is helping us to pull the hips upwards and we are just pressing the heels down into the mat. On the next inhale, we're going to raise up onto our tippy toes, float forward as if we're going into a plank. And on the exhale, just release and move into those heels. Getting a nice stretch into the back of the legs. Arms moving forward. Inhale, leaning forward one more time. Exhale, release all the way back. Last one, inhale, leaning forward, stretch. Exhale, leaning back. Inhale, slowly walk the feet towards the front of the mat. Use the mat, helps you to swing forward. Inhale, raise your arms up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, bring yourself down. Perfect. Now we're going to use this for forward bend. Inhale, raise the hands up. Exhale, forward bend. Shifting into the fabric. Take a deep breath in, and you can grab wherever you like. Grabbing the shins, the big toe, underneath the feet, or just placing the hands on the ground. Inhale, take another lengthen, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. And we can just hang. I'm pushing into the fabric a little bit, just trying to get that forward bend going. Good. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, release. Stepping back, I'm coming right below the plumb line. So right where I've mounted my fabric, that's where I'm standing. 
working into the hamstrings now. Bringing the foot around the ankle, the fabric is under the ankle. So now, just for a while, just take a few breaths in this position. Get used to the stretch. Let the leg know what's coming. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Grabbing the outside of the fabric. Take a deep breath in. Trying to keep our hips nice and square. Inhale. Exhale. Gently push the fabric away. Leaning into that front foot. And breathe. Good. On your next inhale, bring it back. Just take a bit of recovery time. A deep inhale. And exhale, push the fabric forward. Lean into the foot. Good. Breathe. Inhale, coming up. So we're getting two nice stretches here, one in the back of the leg and on the quadricep down the left leg. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, final time, let it go, let it go and push, breathe. Excellent, inhale, bring yourself up, exhale, bring the foot out, just walk it off. Take a quick break. Okay, moving on to the left side. Or if you started with the left side, move on to the right side. We always do both sides. In aerial, in yoga, always. Both sides. You can see that my foot is slightly 45 degrees, but I'm still keeping the hips square to the front of my mat. Fabric underneath the ankle, grabbing hold of the both ends of the fabric and I'm just standing here just warming up the hamstring just giving myself time to get used to this position also finding the balance it takes a little bit of core strength core is activated belly button is pulling towards the spine good grabbing hold of the outside of the fabric with both hands inhale Exhale, gently push the foot away, leaning in towards the fabric. Take a breath. Good. Inhale, clean up. One more time. Big breath in. Exhale, push the fabric. And breathe. I'm looking towards my big toes. That's where the drishti is. Slow breathing. Trying to stay as still as possible. Perfect. Inhale. Coming up. And one final push. Inhale. And exhale. You can take it a little bit further in the side. Just release and surrender. Breathe. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, gently remove the foot from the fabric. Walk it off. Coming around to the front. We're going to do a little bit of a relaxation pose before we move on. Fabric just below the shoulder blades. Leaning all the way back so you find the full tension of the fabric. Slowly walk the feet down. So your weight is being supported by the fabric. Feet to the outside of the mat. Hips are moving up. Hands behind the head. This one's called the stargazer. And we're just gazing up and we can bend one leg, just sway from side to side. Just giving yourself time to find the breath. Relax a little bit. Okay. Bring yourself back to center, grabbing hold of the fabric, slowly walk yourself all the way back up and coming back to standing. Let's bring ourselves to the back of the fabric once more. So, earlier we had 
the ankle inside of the fabric and we're standing underneath our plumb line. Thing is, if we stand too far back or too far forward, we run the risk of falling from side to side. So try to be directly below with the heel in, fabric is moving slightly forward. So we've worked into the back of the legs. Now we're going to swing the leg to the side, swing it outside. If we were on the mat, this would be like a modified triangle pose, grabbing hold of both lines of fabric and with the other one, with the other hand, with the other one. Inhale, on the exhale, gently shift towards the right leg. Push the fabric away. This is taking a little bit of balance. Breathe. And on the inhale, slowly drawing your leg back. Bring it towards the front and release. Moving on to the left hand side. Same thing. Heel into the fabric. Open up the leg to the side. Grabbing hold of both lines of fabric with the hands. Inhale, exhale, lean. Pushing away. I'm pushing my left foot away from the mat. The hands also giving a little bit of pressure into the fabric. And breathe. So here, the abs are working, core is working. Trying to keep that balance. Hold it, slow breathing. Excellent. Inhale, slowly bring yourself back. Turn the foot to the front and release. Let's return to the right foot. This time, placing the foot through and bringing the fabric below and behind the right knee. Allow the foot to just hang. On the inhale, take a deep breath. Exhale, lean forward into the fabric. This time, working into that left quadricep. Take a deep breath in, exhale, lean back, and breathe. So here the hips are moving down, and we can slowly walk the arms up the fabric, and breathe. Nice one just to hang out, passive stretch happening, slow breathe. Cool. On the next inhale, slowly pull onto the fabric and then use the muscles of the leg to bring yourself up. Release the foot. Moving on to the left side. Behind the knee, allow that foot just to hang freely. Inhale, exhale, lean forward towards the fabric. Stretch into that back leg. The knee is not bending up. Keeping, keeping the leg strong, drawing the kneecap up. Heel moving down towards the ground. Inhale, exhale, gently looking up and back. Slowly walking the hands up the fabric and breathe. So I'm just hanging freely into the arms, pushing that foot back, hips moving down, slow breath. <sighs> On your next inhale, tuck onto the fabric, pull yourself up, exhale, release. Okay, so now moving on to the posture I was talking about inverted pigeon pose. This one is a modification of our inverted butterfly with a small back bend. We also need to have a little bit of stretch in the quads. Fabric just above the hips, behind the back, walking backwards until we get the full tension in the hammock. Slowly shift yourself down whilst leaning back, bring the hands up. And then we just topple ourselves over, feet coming around the front, so the knees don't come through the center, knees go around the outside, feet in front of the fabric. So you can use your hands just to stop the swing or if you enjoy that feeling, carry on. 
And here we go. To get the inverted pigeon, we're going to release one foot. So I'm taking my right foot out and then bringing it round, hanging it behind my back. I'll show you once more. The foot comes out around the back. Here we can stay and breathe or if you like you can grab hold of that leg take a deep breath in and relax, breathe if you want a little bit more of a stretch into the hip you can bring the foot over both straps of fabric holding on to the foot and enjoy and it's time to go to the other side hold on to the fabric just for security bring the foot back round release the left leg all the way around hanging down behind the back grab hold of the foot, inhale Exhale. Relax, hanging out. Perfect. Grabbing a hold of my hammock and bringing the foot back around again. And now to come out, both feet swivel around. Keep the knees bent. I'm holding on to the fabric. Slowly bring my feet down, walking myself all the way back, and then come into a nice standing position. Wait here just for a while, just for all the blood to return. And relax. Okay, so now we move into our Final posture, Shavasana, it's the best in the hammock, great feeling. First finding the edge of the fabric. I've said fabric so many times <laughs> in this session. I need to find a new word for fabric. Grabbing hold of the silk, waving it out, because we're going to be laying inside there like a little cocoon. Sitting inside, bring the edge of that fabric to the back of the knees and then laying down inside. Use your feet to push yourself into the length of the hammock and then you can cover your feet and cover your face. So I'm just going to turn around. So you can see how I'm covering the eyes using the hammock. We'll see it from both sides. Inside, use the feet to shuffle yourself in. Here I am, taking this fabric and covering the eyes. Place your palms across the chest like an Egyptian mummy and you can just hang out here with the eyes closed, swing, feel that gentle swing or you can also move from side to side there's really a freedom of movement that we can't find when we're on the ground take your time here Enjoy and relax. So guys, thanks again for joining us for Aerial Yoga with Flow Rebels. I'm Carl Davids and I hope to see you in the next session where we'll be exploring a couple more postures with our hammocks. Until then, keep practicing and enjoy.